Hey, Brookie, how's it going? Oh, hi. It's going good. My niece and I are super close. Since the moment she was born, I think we all knew she was super special. Do you have any friends at your new school? No. How do you think they're going to act uh, when they find out that you're gay? They're probably going to be surprised. It's OK, because like, it's not my opinion. It's really just theirs. Mm -hmm. I think it's really important that we not forget that we have to keep telling our story and we have to be able to help other people that aren't as brave as us because I wasn't as brave as you when I was your age. I was out in a time where it was a little bit different, right? Like I've been out now for about 30 years. When I first came out, we used to have this saying and it basically someone would come up to me and be like, are you family? It was your kind of a secret code, right? Like people didn't necessarily openly you know, express who they were or have the ability to be as, as open and out as you are today. In terms of feeling safe, the place I felt the most safe was around my family with people that loved me and cared about me. Love you. Love you too. My Capital One family, it all started in Boston for me. When I think back to the cafe, everyone around me just completely accepted me and actually highlighted who I was as a person. You know, I, I got to share really important memories with them. Um, I remember the first time we actually were ever at a pride parade. Everyone wanted to be a part of it. And it was super special that so many people were asking what they could do to support that process. I can't imagine being fortunate enough to have that as my family, but then it just continued to grow. So I currently live in Annapolis, Maryland. Uh, my wife and I just purchased uh, our forever home. And I just became a part of our card tech team, whether it be in home office, in a Boston cafe, in a branch here in DC. I feel like I'm surrounded by people that love and care about me. I have so much more pride in what I do. I recently had an ambassador come out to me in my office at work. And it was one of those moments where you have to kind of take a, a deep breath and, and be thankful that you're present in that moment because of the history. Everything that I do, I think back to, you know, the struggles that have happened before me where there are people that marched at Stonewall, where up until recently, like we didn't even have the right to marry. The times where you didn't feel as comfortable sharing your story. And it's what happened in the past that has allowed us to get to where we are today. And that's something that we can't forget.